day everyone. So this is Richard again for another edition of Learning with Rich. So today the lesson that we're going to discuss is about creating and modifying section and elevation views in Revit 2016. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to open a project. So for this one, so we will be using the default uh, sample project in Revit 2016 so I just select open here and then I just need to look for the samples folder so in case you are wondering where is the location of this folder you can find it on your drive C program files uh, Autodesk Revit 2016 and then you will see here samples okay so if you will be using this folder uh, for most of your exercises so much better if you just create a shortcut here on the left side so all you have to do is to drag this folder to the left side okay but in my case I already created the shortcut so let's say I'm going to remove this folder okay so I'm going to move now this folder to the left side okay so it will now create here a shortcut folder Okay, so that next time, if you want to open the, the exercise, so you just need to go to this folder. Okay, so I'll open the samples folder and then look for Revit Basic Sample Project, RME. This time we will be using RME. So remember, RME stands for Revit MEP or Revit Mechanical Electrical. So you just select that and then open. So in this exercise, we're going to create and modify a section view. So let's say you want to show the interior of the building model. And after that, so we are going to create also an interior elevation from which we are going to, I'm going to show you how to activate the four elevation views. And then we are going to modify also the elevation views. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is, I'm going to change my project organization here by simply right-clicking this portion. If you want to see here the elevation like floor plan, ceiling plans, elevation, section, okay, you can change the default uh, setting of the project browser. You just need to right-click this and then look for browser organization. So after that, just select type discipline. Okay, so from the browser organization, just select type discipline and then OK. There you go. So you see our browser organization here is set now. So I, you can expand this if you want to take a look at the views in this sample project from the Autodesk. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open here a floor plan from Mechanical. So let's say I'm going to open the level 2 H back plan. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's say, for example, uh, this is where I want to check my section somewhere here. Okay. So the section tool in Revit can be found on your quick access toolbar, which is this one. And since section has something to do with view, you can also find it here on your view tab. So you'll see here the section. So they are just the same. So it's either you select from your quick access toolbar or you can go to the view tab and then select a section here. So I'm going to select the section. And then I'm going to uh, position my cursor just outside the upper part of the building plan is somewhere here. The location of your first point is not that critical for this exercise. So you just need to click first, the first point, and then you just need to select another point here. Okay, and then after that, you can drag the position of your pointer here. Okay, you want to resize your section, you can just drag that. You can also move up. You can also move down. Okay, so I'm going to place my section just somewhere here. 
okay so after that if you want to know what is the name of the section that you just created so you can move your pointer and then after that you just have to take a look at your oh, I mean you just need to select it and then you can see here the name of the section that you just created okay so you just have to move also your pointer to your section line and then you also see there the name so the name is section 9 okay so you can also select that and then you can take a look here at your properties so the name is section 9 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look here at my project browser so maybe I'm just going to hide this first and then look for sections and then probably it's inside the mechanical so you'll see here section 9 okay Okay, so if you're going to create a section using the template of this uh, of Autodesk, the default project, you can check out here the, tri uh, the type properties. Okay, so it will be placed uh, on your uh, building section. So you see, so it's building section. So you'll see here building section. And then you can also apply a view template here. But anyway, that's not our topic, so I'll just cancel this one. All right, so I'll just select modify. Okay, so the section that I just created is now uh, placed on the sections here, mechanical, so you'll see your section now. Now, you have multiple options to open the section view. It's either you double-click the section head. Okay, so I'll double-click. Okay, to open the section, so this is now the section. Or, another way of opening your section, okay, so I'm going back to my previous view, which is this one. Okay, so another way to open your section is by selecting the section line, right-click, and then you can look for Go to View. You just click that, again, it will open the section for you. And of course, the last option that we can use to open the section is by going to your project browser and after knowing the name of your section, you just need to double click that. Okay. And by the way, in this view, you can change the detail level to find so that you'll be able to see your dock and pipes to a uh, double line. Okay. You see? You might also want to type SD for shaded view, or you can change the visual style here to shaded. Okay, so this is now the section that you just created. Okay. So another thing that you can do on the section that you just created, so I'm going back to my floor plan, is that you can also split your section. Okay, so you can split your section. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to select the section that I just created. And then after that, from the Modify Views tab, you can see here a section panel. And then from the section panel, you see the split segment. So according to the definition, it splits a section or elevation into segments that are orthogonal to the view direction. So I'm going to select this, and then after that, I'm going to move my pointer. Let's say, for example, I want to split it just somewhere here. So you will notice you'll be able to split your section. So if you move your pointer below, you'll be able to move the tail part of the section. If you move your pointer above or the upper portion, you can move the, tail, uh, the head part of the section. See, let's say for example, I'm gonna place it here. Okay, and then after that, uh, I'm going to uh, select modify to terminate the split tool, and then I select again the section, and then I'll just adjust it like this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the hidden windows. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to open the section. Okay, so this is now the section view. And then from the view tab, 
So I'm going to select here the tile windows so that I'll be having a two windows like this. Right? Okay. So as you can see, if I'm going to select this, the section, you'll notice that the boundary here on your section is highlighted also. So you can control from here, you can control the section on your floor plan also. You can also flip your section, okay? You see, if you click this, so you can uh, flip to the other side. So just like this one, so you will notice it updates also. So when you flip that, see it updates. Now, if you want to go back to a straight section again, so all you have to do is to drag this handle. There you go. So it's now straight again. Okay, so that's how you create a section. So the next exercise, what I'm going to show you next is I'm going to uh, create and modify an elevation view. Let's say, for example, I'm going to open here a view. Uh, let me see. View from my mechanical floor plan. Okay, so let's say I'm going to open a view for my plumbing. Okay, so I'm going to open a level 2 plumbing plan. Okay, and then I'm going to create my elevation somewhere here. So I'm going to zoom in here, and then I'm going to create the elevation. So to create the elevation, again, since it has something to do with view, you can find it here on your view tab, and then you can select here elevation. Okay, so the, this is the elevation split button. If you click the drop down arrow here, so you'll be able to see the elevation tool. So I'm going to select the elevation, and then I'm going to position the cursor here. Okay. So you will notice your elevation will point to the nearest structural elements. Okay, so I'll just put my elevation here. I'm going to click. Okay, and then after that, I select again the modify to terminate it. Now, if you want to know what is this elevation that you just created, just like your section, so you can move your pointer to this part and then you will see the name of the elevation. So it says elevation 1-A. So aside from that, you can also select that and then check out again your properties. Okay, you can change the name by the way if you want to change it. So you can see here the name. And then if you want to open this, you can just click this part, right click, and then you can select go to elevation view select that okay and then from here you can now adjust the view so i'm going to select the elevation boundary and then you can drag this handle to adjust it again if you want to see your model in two lines so you can change here your uh, detail level so you can just select the fine here and you may want to change also the visual style to shaded. Okay, so you can click that. All right, so you can adjust it. Okay, now let us take a look. Where is that elevation? Which is this one. So it's under again of mechanical. And then you can change the, the name of your elevation if you want. Now I'm going back to the... Uh, level 2 plumbing plan so if you want to add additional elevation like for example you want an elevation that looks on the lower part okay so you can just click the circle part of the elevation and then you can see here this small square here actually you also have here on the left side and then on the upper side so if you want to create an elevation to this portion so you may click this square and there you go so you now have elevation looking downwards so I select modify to deselect and then if you are going to check again your 
elevation, see, it's now added here. So again, you can open that. Okay, so this is how it looks like. So pretty much like this. Fine. Uh, shaded view. Right? So just like that. Okay, so I'm going back to my level 2 plumbing plan. Okay. There you go. So that's how you create section and elevation. Okay, so this is the section that we just created, which is the section 9. Okay, I'm gonna close the hidden views, and then after that, I'm gonna open uh, the elevation that we just created. Okay, so I can type WT or you can select the tile here. Okay, so this is the elevation. And then this is the section. Okay. So this is how you create your section and elevation in Revit. The procedure of creating your section and elevation in MEP, uh, in architecture model and structural model, they're just the same. Okay, I'm just using right now the default uh, sample project Revit Mechanical Electrical in our Revit 2016. Okay, that's it. Okay, so if you think that this video helps you, just, just give me a like, and if you want, you can also subscribe to my channel. Until then, bye bye.